I think we can be fairly clear at Old Trafford tomorrow at least, that's if the pitch dries out in time. But for this afternoon, lots of those heavy and at times sundry showers around across many parts of England and Wales, as well as southern Scotland. And the showers have got quite sharp edges to them, so you could be on a dry bit of road, then into waterlogged conditions in a fairly short space of time. It's this area of low pressure that's uh, producing the heavy showers at the moment, sitting right over southern parts of the British Isles, but it is going to move away. Not very far to start with, it just moves up into the uh, North Sea, deepens in fact for a time to bring some cold winds in across Scotland. But here's the change really coming in through the second half of the week. Big area of high pressure building in from the west, and that should bring fine settled conditions to most of us, I think, during the second half of the week. Some better temperatures too, also it will turn chilly for a while across the north as those cold winds set in. We can see temperatures generally rising through Friday and into the weekend, hopefully getting back to near normal for this time of the year. But through this afternoon, definitely struggling those temperatures across the northern half of the British Isles. Pretty chilly on that east coast, only 11 degrees with the wind coming in off the sea, and 17 or 18, about the best we can expect in the southeast. But those slightly higher temperatures have been responsible for setting off a few thunderstorms over the last few hours. It took a while to get going. There's a whole packet of them now running up through East Anglia. They'll gradually move away towards the east over the next two or three hours. But plenty more heavy showers around across many parts of England and Wales, some more persistent rain at times. Also wet at times across eastern parts of Scotland. But further to the west, the showers becoming rather more scattered, I think. Many places here having a fine end to the day. Through this evening and overnight, in fact, the area of low pressure that's bringing the showers gradually moves out into the uh, North Sea, so taking much of its rain with it. Another system throw out to the west, set to bring more rain in across uh, southwestern parts of England, particularly during the course of tomorrow. A chilly night for Northern Ireland, some parts of Scotland, perhaps even low enough for a touch of ground frost. And then through tomorrow, the low gradually moving away. Many of us ending up with some fine weather, still some showers down the east coast, but temperatures gradually rising.